Next tonight, we are going to revisit one of the most dangerous new criminal organizations in the country. When we first reported on a street gang called the Gangster Disciples last year, they were terrorizing entire neighborhoods in the city of Chicago. We're coming back to them tonight because their ambition is larger. The Gangster Disciples of Chicago have gone national. The profit potential in the illegal drug trade that has transformed the gangs into the nation's newest organized crime syndicates. And Chicago's Gangster Disciples are among the most aggressive. In the vast landscape of gangland, where fear and power reign supreme, there exists a force that even the mighty Bloods and Crips tread carefully around. The Gangster Disciples. Imagine a shadow cast upon the streets, a presence so potent that it sends shivers down the spines of those who dare to cross its path. Either roll with the gang or they would roll over you. In the heart of urban chaos, where desperation breeds violence and loyalty is a currency, the Gangster Disciples stand tall as titans. Their roots run deep, intertwined with the very essence of the streets they claim. But it's not just their reputation that precedes them. It's the aura of uncertainty, the unpredictable dance of their emotions that keep their adversaries on edge. The Gangster Disciples are not just a gang. They are a brotherhood bound by loyalty and respect. Their origins trace back to the heart of Chicago, where the harsh realities of poverty and injustice molded them into something formidable, something feared. Yet, make no mistake, crossing paths with the gangster disciples is not a fate for the faint of heart. Their reputation precedes them, a legacy of power and dominance carved into the very fabric of the streets. Yet, amidst the chaos and violence, there's a raw authenticity that captivates even the most jaded observer. For those who dare to tread where the disciples roam, there's a palpable sense of unease, a primal instinct warning of impending danger. It's not just the tattoos that mark their skin or the symbols they brandish with pride. It's the raw intensity in their eyes, the silent promise of retribution for any who dare to challenge their dominance. Yet, Beneath the facade of fear and ferocity lies a complex tapestry of human emotion. Loyalty bends them tighter than blued, forged in the fires of adversity and shared struggle. It's the fiercer protectiveness of brothers and sisters in arms, willing to lay down their lives for the collective cause, offering solace and sanctuary to those who have nowhere else to turn. But with loyalty comes betrayal, a venomous dagger that cuts deepest from within. The internal power struggles, the whispers of treachery in darkened alleyways, serve as constant reminders that even the mightiest can fall. In the heart of the concrete youngly, where survival is the ultimate prize, the gangster disciples reign supreme. They are the embodiment of fear, the guardians of their domain, and the enigmatic force that even the bravest dare not confront. As we journey through the tumultuous history of the gangster disciples, will uncover the untold stories of resilience, sacrifice, and the unbreakable bonds that have forged their legacy. From their humble beginnings to their rise to power, every step of their journey is etched with the imprint of human emotion, fear, anger, love, and above all, the relentless pursuit of survival in a world where only the strongest survive. So buckle up as we unravel the enigmatic tale of the gangster disciples, the only gang the Bloods and the Crips truly fear. The Gangster Disciples, a notorious gang, originated in the streets of Chicago during the turbulent 1960s. It all began with two separate gangs, the Black Disciples and the Supreme Gangsters. These groups were born out of the harsh realities faced by African American communities in Chicago, where poverty, discrimination, and lack of opportunities prevailed. The Black Disciples, led by David Barksdale, and the Supreme Gangsters, led by Larry Hoover, operated independently in their respective territories. However, as the need for strength and unity grew in the face of escalating gang violence and police oppression, the leaders saw an opportunity for collaboration. In the late 1960s, Barksdale and Hoover decided to merge their gangs, forming a powerful alliance that would become known as the Gangster Disciples. This merger marked the beginning of a new era for the gang. With a larger membership and combined resources, 
the gangster disciples quickly gained influence and control over larger swathes of Chicago. They adopted a hierarchical structure with strict rules and codes of conduct, which contributed to their organizational strength and ability to exert authority over their territories. As the gangster disciples solidified their presence in Chicago, they began to expand their operations beyond the city limits. They strategically established alliances with other gangs and criminal organizations, enabling them to extend their reach into neighboring cities and states. Their expansion was fueled by various criminal activities, including illegal movement of drugs, extortion, and violent crime. Throughout the 1970s and 1980s, the gangster disciples continued to grow in both size and influence. They became one of the most prominent and feared gangs in not only Chicago, but also across the United States. Their presence was felt in cities like Detroit, Atlanta, and Los Angeles, where they established chapters and recruited new members. Understanding how this organization operates requires a closer look at its internal organization and the rules members must follow. At the top of the gangster disciples' hierarchy are the governors, who hold the highest authority within the organization. They oversee multiple regions and are responsible for making major decisions. Below them are the regents, who manage specific territories or sets within a region. Regents report directly to the governors and ensure that the gang's operations run smoothly in their respective areas. Coordinators play a crucial role in coordinating activities between different sets or territories. They serve as intermediaries between regents and enforcers, facilitating communication and ensuring cohesion within the organization. Enforcers are responsible for maintaining discipline and enforcing the gang's rules. They often handle conflicts, collect dues, and ensure obedience among lower-ranking members. At the lowest level are the soldiers, who carry out the gang's day-to-day -day activities such as drug dealing, extortion, and violence. Soldiers are the backbone of the organization, executing orders from higher-ranking members and contributing to the gang's overall goals. The Gangster Disciples adheres to a strict code of conduct that governs the behavior of its members. Breaking these rules can result in severe consequences, including expulsion or even violence. Silence and Loyalty Members are expected to remain loyal to the gang and maintain secrecy about its activities. Betrayal or cooperation with law enforcement is strictly prohibited and may lead to retaliation. Respect for Hierarchy All members must show respect towards higher-ranking members and follow their orders without question. Disobedience or disrespect towards superiors is not tolerated. Commitment to the cause. Members are required to prioritize the interests of the gang above personal interests. This may involve sacrificing personal freedom, taking risks, or engaging in illegal activities to further the gang's objectives. Violence and retaliation. The gang operates on a principle of an eye for an eye. Members are expected to retaliate swiftly and forcefully against perceived threats or disrespect. Failure to retaliate can be seen as a sign of weakness and may result in loss of status within the gang. Financial Obligations Members must contribute financially to the gang through activities such as drug dealing, extortion, or robbery. A portion of the proceeds is typically passed up the chain of command to support the gang's leadership and fund its operations. Community Engagement Despite its criminal activities, the gang often presents itself as a community organization, providing support to its members and the broader community through initiatives such as charity events or outreach programs. This serves to legitimize the gang's presence in the community and recruit new members. The Gangster Disciples' hierarchical structure and strict code of conduct are central to its operations. By maintaining a clear chain of command and enforcing rigid rules, the gang ensures discipline among its members and furthers its criminal objectives. These objectives include a range of criminal acts, like illegal movement of drugs, extortion, racketeering, and violence. Illegal movement of drugs is one of the primary criminal activities of the gangster disciples. They are involved in the distribution of illegal drugs, such as coke, and marijuana. Members of the gang operate in various neighborhoods, 
selling drugs to users, and contributing to the cycle of addiction and crime. Extortion is another tactic employed by the gangster disciples to generate income. They often demand money from businesses, individuals, and even rival gangs under the threat of violence. This extortion can have a devastating effect on the livelihoods of those targeted, leading to fear and instability within communities. Racketeering is a sophisticated form of criminal activity that the gangster disciples engage in. This involves the operation of illegal businesses or schemes to generate profit through fraudulent means. The gang may use legitimate businesses as fronts to conceal their illegal activities, such as money laundering or illegal gambling operations. Violence is a common tool used by the gangster disciples to maintain control and intimidate rivals. Shootings, assaults, and even M's are used to assert their dominance and protect their interests. Innocent bystanders often become victims of this violence, leading to a climate of fear and insecurity in affected communities. Several high-profile cases have highlighted the involvement of the gangster disciples in criminal enterprises. One notable example is the case of Larry Hoover, the co-founder and former leader of the gang, who was convicted of illegal movement of drugs, conspiracy, and M in the 1990s. Hoover's leadership role in the organization exemplifies the extent of the gang's criminal activities and influence. Another example is the Operation K-Switch investigation, which targeted the gangster disciples' illegal movement of drugs operations in Chicago. This operation resulted in numerous arrests and the seizure of drugs, weapons, and cash linked to the gang's activities. Such operations demonstrate the ongoing efforts of law enforcement to combat the criminal activities of the gangster disciples. The impact of the gangster disciples' criminal activities on communities particularly in Chicago, cannot be overstated. These activities contribute to the proliferation of drugs and violence, leading to increased crime rates and social instability. Innocent residents often live in fear of becoming victims of gang-related violence, and economic development in affected neighborhoods is hindered by the presence of criminal organizations. These actions have a detrimental impact on communities, particularly in Chicago, where they have been linked to numerous crimes. Efforts to combat the influence of the gangster disciples require a coordinated approach involving law enforcement, community organizations, and government agencies to address the root causes of gang-related crime and restore safety and stability to affected areas. In recent years, several legal cases have spotlighted the activities of Gangster Disciples members, a notorious gang operating in various parts of the United States. One such case involved a Gangster Disciple governor who received a 10-year prison sentence. Robert Elliott Jones, 39 aka Lil Rob aka Mac Rob, was sentenced to 120 months in federal prison on conspiracy to participate in a racketeering enterprise. According to the superseding indictment, the Gangster Disciples is a highly organized criminal street gang with nationwide reach. In addition to Tennessee, the gang reportedly operates in more than 35 states. The Gangster Disciples were organized into different positions, including board members and governor of governors, who each controlled geographic regions. Governors, assistant governors, chief enforcers and chief of security for each state or regions within the state where the gangster disciples were active, and coordinators and leaders within each local group. During the change of plea hearing on July 25, 2019, Jones admitted that he was the governor of Section 4, which covers Tipton County, TN, including Covington. The superseding indictment that Jones entered a guilty plea to indicates that as governor over a region, he was responsible for supervising the criminal activities of the members and associates of the Gangster Disciples Enterprise, issuing orders to unalive rival gang members and subordinate gang members who he believed had violated Gangster Disciple rules of conduct, and presiding over Gangster Disciple meetings where criminal activity was discussed, proceeds were collected, and beatings of fellow gang members were administered. Jones was among a total of 16 leaders, 
and members of the Gangster Disciples Criminal Street Gang originally indicted in 2016 in Operation 38 Special for federal racketeering offenses, including conspiracy to commit attempted M's, robberies, assaults, distribution of large quantities of heroin, cocaine and marijuana, illegal movement of firearms, illegal movement of persons, intimidation of witnesses and victims, extortion, obstruction of justice, and other offenses in furtherance of the Gangster Disciples enterprise and to raise funds for the gang. The superseding indictment further alleged that Jones declared Covington, TN as GD Land, and issued a green light to a subordinate gang member to unalive rival gang members in Covington, TN. He issued an order to unalive a subordinate gang member whom the gangster disciples believed had cooperated with law enforcement and sent a photograph of the treasurer of Section 4 who stole $2,300 from the regional enforcer for the state of Tennessee who was looking for all money stealers. On December 11, 2019, U.S. District Court sentenced Jones to 120 months in federal prison, followed by three years of supervised release. There is no parole in the federal system. A source said, despite Lil Rob's declaration, Covington is not and will not be GD land. We are fighting to reclaim our cities, towns, and neighborhoods from the gangs and are effectively dismantling their leadership and influence. Lil Rob will now serve big time for his violence and racketeering that has terrorized Tipton County, and the citizens are safer for it. The Gangster Disciples has faced significant legal repercussions, particularly concerning racketeering conspiracy and M. According to the United States Department of Justice, DOJ, four prominent leaders of the Gangster Disciples were convicted for their participation in a years-long interstate racketeering conspiracy involving illegal movement of drugs, witness tampering, and multiple M's. The Gangster Disciples have a presence throughout the United States, including in state and federal prisons. The gang employs a structured hierarchy with leadership positions such as national board members and state governors. As part of their efforts to maintain control of the gang, the crew unalived two other members who opposed their regime. However, racketeering conspiracy is a serious offense under federal law, involving the coordination of illegal activities for financial gain. It often encompasses various criminal acts, such as illegal movement of drugs, extortion, and money laundering. The Gangster Disciples leaders were found guilty of engaging in racketeering activities that spanned across different states, contributing to the gang's illicit operations and influence. Moreover, these convictions also included charges related to M. The Gangster Disciples have been linked to numerous violent incidents, including homicides, as part of their criminal activities and efforts to maintain control over their territories. The DOJ's prosecution of these leaders underscored the gravity of their involvement in such violent acts. On May 18, 2018, Warren Griffin, a.k.a. GG, a.k.a. Big Head, 53, of Glenwood, Illinois, drove to the south side of Chicago with fellow Gangster Disciples board member Anthony Dobbins to M, a former powerful board member, because he opposed their status as board members in the gang. Griffin lured his fellow gang member, and Dobbins came up behind him and shot him three times in the back and once in the face. On April 28, 2018, Sean Clemen, a.k.a. Pops, 52, of Cape Girardeau, Missouri, and Dominique Maxwell, a.k.a. D-Mac, a.k.a. Monster, 30, also of Cape Girardeau, on orders from Frank Smith, a.k.a. Little Frank, a.k.a. Redbeard, 49, of Naperville, Illinois, fatally shot another gang crew and injured two other men in Bridgeton, Missouri. The shooting was part of a leadership dispute in which board members Smith and Griffin sought to remove another gangster disciple member from his position as governor of Missouri. Smith texted Mike Tyson punch out to Maxwell prior the shooting, which was an order to commit extreme violence, including M. Both Clemen and Maxwell were promoted to leadership positions within the gang for committing this M. The Disciples' other acts of violence included a nightclub stabbing in East St. Louis, Illinois, 
and a non-fatal shooting in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Gangster Disciples members also engaged in various acts of illegal movement of drugs, including a scheme to smuggle the synthetic drug K2 into Missouri state prisons. All four were convicted of racketeer-influenced and corrupt organizations, RICO, Act Conspiracy, and M in aid of racketeering, and face a mandatory sentence of life in prison. Smith, Maxwell, and Clemen were also convicted of racketeering conspiracy, as well as firearms offenses related to the M of their crew member. Griffin was also convicted of racketeering conspiracy, as well as firearms offenses related to the M. The convictions of these four gangster disciples' leaders sent a strong message about the government's commitment to combating organized crime and ensuring public safety. By holding individuals accountable for their roles in orchestrating illegal activities, law enforcement aimed to dismantle the infrastructure of the gang and disrupt its operations. Furthermore, the convictions of key leaders represent progress in addressing the threat posed by the gangster disciples. The fight against organized crime requires continued vigilance and cooperation among law enforcement agencies and communities alike. In recent years, law enforcement efforts to dismantle the gangster disciples have intensified, resulting in numerous arrests and prosecutions of key leaders and members. However, the gang continues to pose a significant threat to public safety gangs, like the Crips and the Bloods have had long-standing rivalries with other gangs, often fueled by competition for territory and control of criminal activities. These conflicts have led to violence and disputes over the years. The Crips, one of the largest and most notorious gangs, have clashed with numerous rival gangs, including the Bloods. The rivalry between the Crips and the Bloods dates back to the 1960s and has been marked by numerous violent confrontations. Much of this rivalry stems from competition for control of illegal movement of drugs routes, extortion rackets, and other criminal enterprises. Both gangs have sought to expand their territories and assert dominance over lucrative markets, leading to frequent clashes and turf wars. Similarly, the Bloods have also had rivalries with other gangs besides the Crips. These conflicts often arise from disputes over territory, respect, and control of criminal activities. Gangs vie for control of neighborhoods and street corners where they can conduct their illegal businesses, such as drug dealing and extortion. Over time, alliances and conflicts between gangs can shift due to various factors, including changes in leadership, shifts in power dynamics, and external pressures from law enforcement. Gang rivalries can also be fueled by personal disputes, retaliation for perceived slights, or attempts to assert dominance in the criminal underworld. Despite occasional truces or alliances formed for mutual benefit, the underlying tensions and rivalries between gangs like the Crips, the Bloods, and others remain a constant source of violence and instability in many communities. These conflicts often have devastating consequences for both gang members and innocent bystanders caught in the crossfire. They diversified their criminal activities, expanded their networks, and implemented ruthless tactics to maintain their dominance in the underworld. Their reputation for violence and intimidation allowed them to exert control over communities and maintain their stronghold in the criminal landscape. King Vaughn, whose real name is Davon Daquan Bennett, was a prominent member of the Black Disciples, a faction of the Gangster Disciples Gang. He gained fame as a rapper, showcasing the reality of street life through his music. King Vaughn's impact on the gang's reputation and activities was significant. His notoriety in both the streets and the music industry brought attention to the gangster disciples and their influence on hip-hop culture. As one of the notable members of the gang, King Von's involvement in street activities and his rise in the music scene contributed to the gang's reputation for being deeply entrenched in urban life. His lyrics often depicted the harsh realities of gang life, resonating with many listeners who were familiar with similar experiences. This portrayal both glorified and critiqued gang culture, 
adding layers to the gang's public image. Moreover, King Von's popularity and influence extended beyond just the gang itself. He became a symbol of street authenticity in the hip-hop community, further solidifying the gangster disciples' presence in popular culture. However, his involvement in criminal activities also brought negative attention to the gang, highlighting the dangers and consequences associated with gang affiliation. Comparisons with other gangs often arose due to King Von's prominence. His music and persona were often juxtaposed with those of artists affiliated with rival gangs, sparking debates and controversies within the hip-hop community. Overall, King Von's impact on the gangster disciples' reputation and activities was profound, leaving a lasting imprint on both the gang and the music industry. The gangster disciples have a significant impact on the communities they operate in. Their criminal activities, including illegal movement of drugs, violence, and extortion, create fear and instability. Socially, families live in constant fear for their safety, and the presence of gangs can disrupt community cohesion. Economically, gang-related crime can deter businesses and investment, leading to economic decline in affected neighborhoods. Efforts to address gang-related violence and crime involve a combination of law enforcement strategies and community initiatives. Law enforcement agencies conduct operations to disrupt gang activities and arrest gang members. Community organizations provide support and resources to at-risk youth, offering alternatives to gang involvement. Residents may also organize neighborhood watch programs and collaborate with law enforcement to report suspicious activities. The current status of the gangster disciples varies. Recent law enforcement efforts may have led to arrests and disruptions within the gang's leadership structure. However, gangs often adapt to law enforcement tactics, making it challenging to eradicate them completely. Shifts in leadership or tactics may occur as the gang responds to internal and external pressures. The future outlook for the gangster disciples depends on various factors, including continued law enforcement efforts, changes in the criminal landscape, and the effectiveness of community interventions. While some progress may be made in reducing gang activity, new challenges may emerge, such as the rise of new gangs or shifts in criminal markets. Ongoing collaboration between law enforcement, community organizations, and residents will be essential in addressing the root causes of gang involvement and creating safer communities. Both gangs have sought to expand their territories and assert dominance over lucrative markets, leading to frequent clashes and turf wars. Similarly, the Bloods have also had rivalries with other gangs besides the Crips, these conflicts often arise from disputes over territory, respect, and control of criminal activities. Gangs vie for control of neighborhoods and street corners where they can conduct their illegal businesses, such as drug dealing and extortion. Over time, alliances and conflicts between gangs can shift due to various factors, including changes in leadership, shifts in power dynamics, and external pressures from law enforcement. Gang rivalries can also be fueled by personal disputes, retaliation for perceived slights, or attempts to assert dominance in the criminal underworld. Despite occasional truces or alliances formed for mutual benefit, the underlying tensions and rivalries between gangs like the Crips, the Bloods, and others remain a constant source of violence and instability in many communities. These conflicts often have devastating consequences for both gang members and innocent bystanders caught in the crossfire. They diversified their criminal activities, expanded their networks, and implemented ruthless tactics to maintain their dominance in the underworld. Their reputation for violence and intimidation allowed them to exert control over communities and maintain their stronghold in the criminal landscape. King Vaughn, whose real name is Davon Daquan Bennett, was a prominent member of the Black Disciples, a faction of the Gangster Disciples Gang. He gained fame as a rapper, showcasing the reality of street life through his music. King Vaughn's impact on the gang's reputation and activities was significant. 
His notoriety in both the streets and the music industry brought attention to the gangster disciples and their influence on hip-hop culture. As one of the notable members of the gang, King Von's involvement in street activities and his rise in the music scene contributed to the gang's reputation for being deeply entrenched in urban life. His lyrics often depicted the harsh realities of gang life, resonating with many listeners who were familiar with similar experiences. This portrayal both glorified and critiqued gang culture, adding layers to the gang's public image. Moreover, King Von's popularity and influence extended beyond just the gang itself. He became a symbol of street authenticity in the hip-hop community, further solidifying the gangster disciple's presence in popular culture. However, his involvement in criminal activities also brought negative attention to the gang, highlighting the dangers and consequences associated with gang affiliation. Comparisons with other gangs often arose due to King Von's prominence. His music and persona were often juxtaposed with those of artists affiliated with rival gangs, sparking debates and controversies within the hip-hop community. Overall, King Von's impact on the gangster disciples' reputation and activities was profound, leaving a lasting imprint on both the gang and the music industry. The gangster disciples have a significant impact on the communities they operate in. Their criminal activities, including illegal movement of drugs, violence, and extortion, create fear and instability. Socially, families live in constant fear for their safety, and the presence of gangs can disrupt community cohesion. Economically, gang-related crime can deter businesses and investment, leading to economic decline in affected neighborhoods. Efforts to address gang-related violence and crime involve a combination of law enforcement strategies and community initiatives. Law enforcement agencies conduct operations to disrupt gang activities and arrest gang members. Community organizations provide support and resources to at-risk youth, offering alternatives to gang involvement. Residents may also organize neighborhood watch programs and collaborate with law enforcement to report suspicious activities. The current status of the gangster disciples varies. Recent law enforcement efforts may have led to arrests and disruptions within the gang's leadership structure. However, gangs often adapt to law enforcement tactics, making it challenging to eradicate them completely. Shifts in leadership or tactics may occur as the gang responds to internal and external pressures. The future outlook for the gangster disciples depends on various factors, including continued law enforcement efforts, changes in the criminal landscape, and the effectiveness of community interventions. While some progress may be made in reducing gang activity, new challenges may emerge, such as the rise of new gangs or shifts in criminal markets. Ongoing collaboration between law enforcement, community organizations, and residents will be essential in addressing the root causes of gang involvement and creating safer communities. So, as the sun sets on another day in the concrete jungle, remember this. The gangster disciples are not just a name whispered in fear. They are the embodiment of resilience in the face of adversity, a testament to the enduring spirit of those who refuse to be silenced.